Hello and welcome to Your House Matters. I'm John Charbonneau with TMG The Mortgage Group. About two weeks ago, I was watching a nationally syndicated early morning Canadian news program. The host of the show was speaking with a financial expert and they were talking about mortgage rates. The financial expert commented on the recent Bank of Canada announcement that they were not increasing the Bank of Canada rate and that was a good thing for homeowners with mortgages as there would not be an increase in mortgage rates. The host of the program, along with the financial expert, also commented that all indications were that the Bank of Canada would not be increasing rates for most likely a year to come. With that news, many a homeowner would breathe a sigh of relief and go on with their regular day. What the broadcasters in this case neglected to tell their viewing audience was that when the Bank of Canada makes a change to the Bank of Canada rate, it only directly affects homeowners with variable rate mortgages and lines of credit. The other type of mortgage and the type that most homeowners are opting for in today's market are fixed rate terms. In actual fact, fixed rate mortgages have increased three times since the last Bank of Canada announcement by a half a percent. What our trusted news broadcasters failed to talk about was the fact that changes to fixed rate mortgages are tied to what is happening in the bond market. The bond market is like the stock market where prices go up and down on a daily basis. Mortgage lenders will buy a five-year bond at, say, 1.5% and then lend it out as a five-year mortgage at 3%. If the price of the bonds goes up, as it has in the last couple of weeks, then mortgage lenders will increase the pricing on their fixed-rate mortgages. While our friendly newscasters were technically correct, they only told the public half of the story. If you want to get a sense of whether fixed-rate mortgages are likely to increase or decrease, you need to be watching the bond market. If you or someone you know has a mortgage that is coming up for renewal in the next four months, they would be well advised to look at developing a renewal strategy that locks in a renewal rate today in case they continue to increase. If you'd like more information on a strategy that will favor the borrower and not the bank, you'll find a link to my renewal strategy at the end of this video. That's all for this edition of Your House Matters. Thanks for watching.